Leonardo da Vinci. The genius, Leonardo da Vinci, a famous painter, scientist, and architect, was born in Italy in 1452. His father was the only son of a rich family living in the town of Vinci. But his mother was a peasant, so he could not marry his father. After all, Leonardo lived in poverty with his mother and maternal grandfather. Leonardo was very good at painting from his childhood. Father Chiori recognized his genius for painting and sent Leonardo to his paternal grandfather Antonio who was the lord of Vinci Castle. Leonardo freely and heartily painted pictures in the castle and studied painting regularly. His ability improved splendidly. So his father, Piero, took Leonardo to Florence to have him learn painting with Verrocchi, a famous painter. Verrocchio marveled at Leonardo's ability. One day, Verrocchio said, Leonardo, Will you please complete the baptism of Christ instead of me? Leonardo painted the background pictures hard in harmony with the pictures painted already by his teacher, Verrocchio. On the other hand, some senior students who were jealous of Leonardo, blackened the picture of an angel while he was sleeping. Leonardo came to know this and painted an angel himself. After studying under Verrocchio for a long time, Leonardo became independent of his teacher and set up his own workroom at the age of 25. He became a famous painter and painted a lot of pictures. But some neighboring people's envy and jealousy caused him great distress. Around that time, Leonardo decided to leave Florence because his science ability was recognized despite his well-informed knowledge about it. All right, I'll go to Milan where Duke Sforza lives. Leonardo sent Duke Sforza a letter and Duke Sforza welcomed him. In Milan, Leonardo made powerful weapons which were unimaginable at that time. Milan won many wars thanks to his weapons. Leonardo also completed The Virgin of the Rocks, in which he applied the rules of perspective and shading conspicuously. Mr. Da Vinci, Please build a statue of my father. Leonardo started the work of building a statue of Duke Savarza's father with his student, Salegno, at his request. They worked on it for 16 years, but the statue disappeared due to the French military before it was completed. Leonardo was very busy working as an architect, painter, and scientist in Milan. He painted a famous fresco, The Last Supper. At that time, all the people gazed in admiration at it. I need to know about a human body in order to paint a true portrait. Leonardo had some well-informed knowledge about anatomy. He took Salegno to a grave in order to dissect a dead body. But he was placed at the risk of facing a heavy punishment after being detected by the abbot of a monastery. Milan fell into a state of terrible confusion after being invaded by France. After being set free from prison, Leonardo had no mind to stay in Milan any longer. All right, 
I'll go to my hometown. On returning to his hometown, he went to see his mother, but he found she had died already. Leonardo wept bitterly in front of her tomb. He returned to Florence and worked as a military advisor. He designed an airplane, but no one understood the airplane design at that time. But the structure of the airplane designed by Leonardo was very similar to the structure of today's airplanes. Leonardo seldom painted others' portraits, but he painted a portrait of Mrs. Giocondo Lisa. He was more enthusiastic about his painting work than ever before, but it wasn't completed because she moved to the south. One day, Leonardo heard Mrs. Lisa had died, and being in distress over her death, he left Florence, and he spent years wandering around many places, but he didn't neglect painting pictures. Training his students and studying anatomy. I'll go to France. Maybe that's where I'll end my life. After saying so, Leonardo bid farewell to his student Salerno, and went to France by way of Mount Alps, with his new student Merci. French King Francis the First. Treated Leonardo very cordially, as his teacher. As Leonardo was over sixty, he grew weaker. Mercy, I have no strength to hold a brush. Mercy cared for his teacher devoutly, but Leonardo didn't recover his strength easily. King Francis the First often visited Leonardo's house. To comfort him, Your Majesty, this is my favorite picture. I'll give it to you as a present. Leonardo gave the portrait of Mona Lisa to the king. Leonardo made a will and gave his property evenly to his students, Salerno and Merci. And also to his servants, he died quietly at the age of 67 in 1519. Leonardo da Vinci was a genius painter, architect, and scientist who already knew about the universe in the 15th century. His spirit of continuous creation has been a good lesson to a lot of people, even after his death.